So at this point in time with the Y2 booster, you can get a dashboard view of the following. You get your total views, as you can see here. You can uh, upload your own logos and stuff. It'll pull your channel information and name. It'll let you know about your latest upload, how many subscribers and stuff that you have here over to the right. Uh, but you can actually see and you can do like a refresh in case you put some new videos up. So it'll pull those in case it didn't pull them in case you had it open already. But we're going to jump into one of the videos because I think this is super important. And we're just going to do a short today. So we're going to hit this optimize button so we can talk about that. And then we'll jump back to the keyword research and everything afterwards. So if you take a look here, you can have your title and everything, right? As you can see for the video title, as I have here, but it's going to notice here off to the right, it talks about some things that can be important to help you optimize better for YouTube. Now, it tells me right now, I don't, you know, it's good to have over 500 characters in the description add links to the description define the keyword um, for the focus of the keywords and then add the focus keyword in your title and also having that focus keyword in your description so if you notice here the other software which i haven't hinted to yet came up with this stuff that actually tends to be very effective so sometimes i'll go backtrack here and for example for today right if we want to talk about video empire or if i wanted to change something different i'm going to show you a little bit of a difference here so say if i wanted the keyword to be success story right and i put that here and then i hit search then it's going to take a moment and if you notice it jumped on down here and they started giving relevant tags and they go on a rating system. If you can notice they have a number off to the right about how high of a rating. So the more likely that word is being used, meaning um, not necessarily high traffic, but high volume. And you may not rank as much for it um, as the ones that may be a little bit lower. Like say if one is 99, you don't want to go with that one. You probably want to go with one that's like 52, like this one here. So if I decided to want to add those, right? The cool part is it'll let you add them because you notice right here, the current video tags, it already has the ones that I generated. But if I want to add the tag for success story, you see it, notice it added it right there. Then if I want to add, of course, longer keywords, and remember you only have up to 500 as it talks about right here. So say I want to do, you know, low law of assumption. And I add that one, you notice it, it added it right here for us too. So, and it recommends some other ones. Sometimes they can be sort of hit or miss. So just be mindful of that. And say I wanted to add more information. Say I had affiliate links. Um, like say, if I wanted to offer this to, you know, people that's watching today and I had drop an affiliate link um, in the description, you have the ability to add them here and it'll auto add them within the description. And then you can also change this verbiage that's right here too that you see. Um, so you can have that disclaimer so you you know you can protect yourself um, by law. Then if you choose to, you can add you know video playlists, things of that nature. Um, if you chose to, um, to add those and add that to your description. And you can by default in the settings, um, you can add like global links, which is good. So if you have like your social media channels, whether it be like Instagram or TikTok, stuff like that, you can add those into your description as well. So other ways for people to be able to find you. So let's jump to the next portion here. And before we do that, just remember when you're done getting everything the way you want it, you want to hit this upload to YouTube option. So if I was to hit it, you will end up seeing this. It'll tell you it'll take like up to three minutes. Usually it's pretty instantaneous for the most part. The longest I probably had it ever take maybe is about five minutes tops. And then it'll update on your YouTube channel. So say for instance, we want to do a keyword research and I'm thinking about wanting to do something with say green screens, right? And we're going to type that on in so you can be able to see this real time. 
as you can see right you're gonna see the most used across youtube keywords and the competition level for it is high um but the overall is say a 42 but that's high level competition because a lot of people commonly use the word green screen okay maybe you go for something a little bit lower in the rankings right you can go for a chroma key that's a 74 instead of it being a 94 um you know less competition with that um say if there's a a specific type of thing that you want to find out right well you know cartoon green screens of course that wouldn't be the case here but if i'm trying to teach people on how to use a green screen light it whatever the case may be this can give you at least a little bit of a headway and you can get more specific with it as well too but my tip to you would be this um if you want to find out some of the ones that are sort of more on point of what youtube is offering you can go and search on youtube and start to type in in the search panel and then you know how it starts to auto generate a list of things that's available you want to take a look at those because those are really the key terms that people are physically typing in and you can use this as a backup to sort of help fill that in for your tags so it can make the likelihood of your video um, be more available or seen or come across when people are searching on youtube especially if they watch a lot of stuff like that so you have this option here too just to sort of move along you have options say if i clicked on green screen meme green screens and then i hit save to list i can actually create a list name and say you know name it test or whatever the case may be and then i can save that list now say later i need to come to this list and i'm like man you know what i remember i set up that list i can click that view list and then I can pull it up and, and you, then at that point, it'll allow me to be able to view it and click here and you see, it gives you those options there for you to be able to take advantage of them, highlight them, copy and paste them and to, you know, going into the next portion here, say if we was to go back to example, to the dashboard and then going back into say, the video that we were in previously. Now, the other thing that I want to talk about here too is the tag extractor. Now, the opportunity you, you get to do with this, I'm going to show you this real time. All right, now, so now we're going to take a quick look. And we're going to here on YouTube now. I'm going to use um, one of my favorite people I like to check out, YC Imaging. So we're going to go to three dots. We're going to hit share. And then we're gonna hit copy. So I'm gonna pop this on in. So as you can see, right, it pulled all the tags he used. So say for instance, you setting up a video and you wanna frame it out in the way and the structure it should be in. And then once you get ready to upload it and you upload it as unlisted, so you can use Y2 Booster to then read that unlisted video and you can come right on in here and you see, I say, you know what? I'm a full-time content creator. I'm gonna select all of these, right? You notice they have check marks next to them, right? Filmmaking tips, boom, boom, boom. I'm gonna go and then I'm gonna copy the tags, right? So after I copy the tags, now it's time for me to go back here. I go right into one of my, the one say one of the projects I was working on, right? And if I wanted to, just as easy, copy and paste those. And you see how, and I can hit return and then they pop right on in. You see that? Even though I got too many, but I'm just trying to show an example, a real life example for y'all. So where it makes sense. And then you just pop right on up top for that video. And then you hit upload to YouTube. It's just that easy. So I'm gonna pop back here to, to the tag extractor. So you can see that again. So I'm gonna grab another YouTube video, just for example. So we're gonna see what we got going on with Gary V. And we're gonna copy one of his. We're gonna do a secondary example. I just think this is always cool for you to do it this way. So let's see what we got here. So as you can see, the blueprint for a hack in social media. 
So you see all the keywords Gary V and his team is using, right? The ones that matter, that help you pull up and be more relevant, especially if you're doing a video that's surrounding that subject matter. That's the importance of these tags, y'all. So if you got your favorite YouTubers that you like to watch and you sort of see their numbers going up in a certain way, this is part of it to bring the likelihood up, but it's still the biggest part on you to make sure that your content is good so it can stand out. So the more YouTube puts this in front of people or they search these terms, then the likelihood they're gonna be able to see your thumbnail and come across that. And as long as that thumbnail is good and enticing, then that's really gonna help that secret sauce to make things work where you start getting those views and the counts go up. Now, there is a feature here that's taught called Ask YouTube Booster Plus. Now, it gives you six credits, but you can buy more if you choose to. I only use this when I tend to be in the rut. I need something probably very quick. I don't sometimes don't wanna jump over to another software or anything like that because I have quite a few that I use for AI descriptions and things of that nature. But I do use this and clean it out every time for six times no. for the month that you get it. So you can type in a specific topic and happen to be say social media posts, right? And if I decide to search that, it's gonna use one credit out of the six, but we are gonna go ahead and do that. So it's gonna do the research, right? For the trending topics. And if you notice, this is the coolest part. You see all of this, y'all? Yes. Can, how, what, which, why, will, are, and then preposition for can, for, is, to, and with comparison for and and like, you know, then stuff in, you know, alphabetical order in a sense here for you to take a look at. You see all of these and you notice these icons, you can then copy and paste these into like a spreadsheet that'll help you come up um, for things related around your content. So you can come up for the basis of what your conversation is going to be. And let me hang tight here because I want to make sure, like I said, this, this is a live thing. So I'm going to go ahead and make sure I put my phone on vibrate so I won't be disturbed. So the, the key piece is this. You see for trending topic research, you remember how I gave you that tip earlier where you go to YouTube and you start to type in a subject or something you want to talk about and it start giving you those pre-filled list of items you need to copy and paste those down and then throw those into here for that topic research and see what it come up with y'all i'm giving y'all the secret sauce so if you're not taking care of that and doing it that way you might be losing out on some big time views so that's the way you would want to go so now we're going to jump into the next option here that i wanted to talk to you about which is the title generator plus now the way that this works, you get those credits that I get, right? That I mentioned that's right up here, those five credits. And mention that you can buy more. If you like the way this service works, you can always buy more, but you get to use one credit. So say for instance, I wanted to search a, another keyword and I said, okay, green screen lighting. And I decided to want to do that, right? and I hit generate. Now it's gonna take that time to start to come up with some cool titles. And if you notice, it gives you that availability to download it as like a CSV. So it can go into a spreadsheet if you keep things on spreadsheets, or if you choose to just wanna individually copy a certain one, then you can just hit the copy button here off to the right of each one but if you notice right it gave headlines and titles for the content ideas like revolutionizing energy the power of green lighting okay that may not be be the best one right <laughs> say goodbye to high energy bills but you see i left the keyword out see i'm human i make mistakes so we'll go green screen lighting right so let's change that up and let's see what it do. 
All right, mistake done, fixed real quick. It's okay if I use my credits, I really don't care because like I said, I, I use a, a, quite a few different software for generative stuff So, um, for my business, so that's fine. So the other thing here, right, you see the ultimate guide to perfect green screen lighting and it's giving them in like ranks, right? So you want to think of it that way from best to probably worst is the way you want to look at it. That's the way I view these. And sometimes you want to be smart too and do the combination of where you might be say, you know, see the beginning, the ultimate guide too. And you might want to add, you know, green screen lighting tips and tricks. Say if you decide to do that, I'm just giving an example. May not have been the best one, but I'm just trying to give you an idea how you can think about it. Cause you don't sometimes um, get the best thing out of a whole um, description, even though you may have a list, sometimes it's splitting up um you know the best of one and and then adding the tail end of, of the other or vice versa so now we're going to jump into the next one here and this is where i'm going to take the best example so we can say you land on one of these titles right for your youtube video i'm gonna jump right here i'm gonna copy the first one and then i'm gonna go to description generator plus now if you notice this one for one search it, it takes up two credits. So now I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste that in and now I'm going to hit generate. And what it's going to do is going to take a minute to analyze that title that I took from the title generator plus and paste it into the description generator plus. And now you have these descriptions. You notice they all have a copy description option off to the right. So you don't have to go through all this highlighting stuff and doing all of that. And here's the beauty of it. You can type and update things within these descriptions. So if you don't like how something is worded, you still have that freedom to be able to do it right here and edit it and then copy and paste that and go back to the video um, through the dashboard and pull up that relevant unlisted video and copy and paste it there in the description and then hit upload to YouTube so it'll go correctly. But as you can see, these are some good ones. Like, are you tired of struggling with green screen lighting in your videos? Look no further. And this comprehensive guide will show you the ultimate tips and tricks for achieving perfect green screen lighting every time. Learn how to properly set up your lighting equipment, adjust for different skin tones, avoid common mistakes that can ruin your footage. With our easy to follow instructions and demonstrations, you'll be able to create a seamless green screen effects for your videos like a pro. Whether you're a beginner or an experienced filmmaker, this guy has something for everyone. Don't let bad lighting ruin your shots. Hey, that's a great tip. And watch now and take your green screen game to the next level. You can't tell me that that is a solid description if you was doing a green screen lighting video. So y'all got a good taste of what this has to offer. It has one last feature here. And if you notice, you can take notes. So if you use this all the time, and one of my real estate clients that I use this for uh, a lot of times, and for her, I have certain notes and stuff that I keep, and I'm not gonna reveal those because I always like to keep my clients things private, but you can type in your notes um, and so forth here, save them um, where you have a name. So if I decide to do you know testing and then i hit save and then of course i can then add you know add testing and then i can go ahead and hit save right so if you notice it popped right up here off to the left so this gives you a cool one-stop shop if you haven't checked out y2 booster you may be able to potentially find it on app sumo if it's still there on AppSumo.com, I'll drop a link in the description. If not, I also will put in my affiliate link there so you can take advantage of it there because I like to give people the best of the both worlds and the choice to either support me or get the deal, especially if you in business like myself for video production, short form content creation and so forth or content creation period. So thanks for tuning in to the True Narrative Podcast. It's your boy, MT. Have a great one. Another software that's a banger that can help you elevate your social media game on YouTube. Peace.